Hi there. This is uh, a little demo of ArcGIS Maps for Office. It's really just to get you going and, and just clarify how it all sort of all works. It intertwines with Enterprise Portal um, ArcGIS Online. So I'm, I'm just going to drop a map into Excel and, and read a few cells, uh, some data and geocode that data. So you first of all, you need a ArcGIS Online or Enterprise um, organization account. Um, so you can go off to the to the map services and and uh, insert maps etc and use the analytics uh, the, the, the sort of analysis um, capabilities heat maps and stuff uh, so you need that 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 login you also need this this add-in for for office and you can get that from the esri um, website you fill in a form and, and off you go so and you can read obviously a bit a bit more about it there but let's just get on it so i've done a download i've done an install and i'm on 64-bit windows here so here we are what do we do well after you've done the install yeah notice you have arcgis maps as a, as a tab to click on there and you get these settings but let's just let's just type in any old data let's, let's do some i don't know london and leicester as cities London 50 leicester 100 obviously um, so I've got the name of a city, some geography, and I've got a value. So I'd like to put a put a map here from Archis Online. How do I do that? First of all, let's sign in. So I shall just enter my sign in details. <clears throat> so once once you're signed in to the Archis. Uh, online platform you'll then get the options main one being add map down and select my cell, cell range from the off so you, so that's probably the easiest way and quickest way to do it you select it from the off um, what you want to map so when you click on add map now it comes in with this generic map but you see it's read the the data from these these co um, rows columns and then you can you can change it so it's already I think it's got world city there because that's what I used before so um, uh, you know it's defaulted to that but you select how you want to geocode because it could be zips it could be set coordinates could be the name of a whole country so it's, so it's polygon uh, that sort of thing and you can add more for uh, more location types so I'm gonna go for world city I want to map um, by by uh, the, the styling done by column B so that's the 50 and 100. The world city is stored in A, that column, and that's about it really. I could do I could do a sub um, sort of uh, classification there if I needed, but I wait to add the data, and it just summarizes it and tells you is this okay? Is this what you want? Yes, it is. And there you go. I have two graduated symbols in Leicester and London, and when I click on Leicester, I get a value. Um, and uh, there's various things you can run here, some basic infographics and stuff. But I could also, if I if I haven't got any sort of names and headings and stuff, I could change that alias to city name, and then up pop city name like that. You see, uh, and there's various other buttons to search and select, etc., and, and go for it. So that's kind of one layer. And indeed, I can click on ArcGIS data and go and get other. Um, data maps, other data sets, other layers, feature services and stuff and just add them to the layer. But I could carry on adding further Excel data because I could here type in Nottingham and let's say that's AP Edinburgh in old Edinburgh 95. So I could highlight these and and then click on Excel data And actually have these as a, a separate map so it, 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 as a layer separate layer so it's still a everything else the same but this time let's let's make something a bit more let's have a heat map shall we and let's let's do that add data so now we've actually got two layers you see the one up in edinburgh there uh, but it's two layers two map layers you see there's the top one um and which is the one I've just done. So that's my, my heat map, which is Nottingham and Edinburgh. 
But the one un underneath there is my graduate symbols, which is the London and Leicester ones. And, um, and off you go. So you might um, go to layer settings and change the name here. My heat map, or I should say my heat layer. Okay. Uh, various settings there, Oops, whatever. And you see now it's now my heat, uh, my heat layer, and this is my graduated symbol map. There's another place you can change the name actually, I think. Anyway, graduated symbols. Symbols. Okay, so now these are uh, got sort of decent sort of nameage, and the heat map could be pushed underneath the symbols, and so now we can sort of properly see. Where's my London one? There it goes. Um, so, um, and you can zoom about, pan, and you can you, you can select objects. There's various tools. You can uh, just hit copy and that will copy it to the clipboard so when I open up something like I don't know paint.net or something or what, what, whatever tool you like to use you'll just get the map and there you go um, which is the current view uh, lots of other options you can share maps you can um, uh, obviously um, uh, sh share them with uh, members of the organization you know you aren't just online etc etc but there you go that's my very quick intro to getting your Excel data onto a uh, map in Excel using all the um, uh, all, all the facilities, uh, all, 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 all the layers, and all the data sets and everything that you've got uh, that's available in uh, ArcGIS Online. I hope that's useful. Thanks very much.